welcome to this Scarlet's and Blues tutorial on recording attendance pages. Attendance pages are part of the meetings workflow, so we start by pressing this meetings button. This will bring up um, all the pages you can look at. We've organized them into sets. Um, these are uh, by quarter. Um, so quarter one or Q1 is January to March, Q2 is April to June, Q3 is July to September, and Q4 is October to December. And you can see we start in the second half of 1908 and we finish somewhere around the end of 1919. So these pages cover the war years, but also some time before and a little bit after as well. Um, now I would like to show you um, a page for the 20th of July, 1916. Uh, so I've just gone up too far. There we go. So July is going to be in Q3. So I click on this and this will bring up an index. This lets me look through all the pages in that set. Uh, so I can scroll down, there they all are. Um, so these headings, uh, status tells you whether it needs transcription. If it says available, then you can transcribe it. Uh, if it says already seen, you've already transcribed it. And if it says retired, it has been transcribed enough times and we don't need any more transcriptions, but it remains available um, so that you can look at it if you're following through something from somewhere else, um, like another page in the same meeting or a reference in the index or something like that. Uh, the date is the date that the meeting took place. Uh, because each row is a page, you will see the same date more than once. Uh, the page is the page number, fairly obviously. Um, you might occasionally see a missing page in this table, like here, 161 is missing. That's because some of the pages are blank. Um, a catalogue is a reference to the National Archives catalogue. Um, so if you want to look up the book that this page is in, you would look up WO250 slash 436, like that. Um, the 39 part refers to the meeting itself. Um, so you can see the 6th of July is meeting number 39. 13th of July is meeting number 40. That information isn't in the catalogue yet. That's one, one of the results of this project will be adding that information to the catalogue. Um, so right now you just use this bit and you can look up the book uh, and this you click on to go to that particular page and transcribe it. Um, so I said I wanted the meeting of the 20th of July and um, so I'm just going to filter on the date here. I'm going to type 20, get me all the dates with the 20 in um, and I want the attendance page. That's the first page in the meeting. It's always the first page in the meeting. So it's page 150, which is this one. So there it is, 20th of July, 1916, page 150. Um, so the first question is, is this an attendance page or a minutes page? Um, attendance pages are quite distinctive. They've got this title at the top, special board on the date, and then a list of people who are present, and then nearly always a list of agenda items like this. Um, so yeah, this is an attendance page. Um, okay. Then you record the people who were present. Now we've got an incomplete list of the commissioners of the hospital here, um, which should save you some time. Um, so you can just tick people off in this list. So Littleton, I will find these, these are organized by surname, alphabetically by surname. So there's Littleton. Um, then the next one is Crutchley, Charles Crutchley is there. Um, now you can see in this list, we've got their titles. Um, titles might change potentially uh, maybe these letters will change or, or not always be there as long as you're pretty sure it's the same person you can press the button um, if, you, if there's somebody different they go in this box at the bottom which I will come back to in a minute I'm just going to complete this list first so the next person is Cave Brown Cave, uh, Bunbury, Gubbins, Bunbury, Gubbins, Della Bear, Hancocks, and Dixon. Okay, so in this case, everybody in the main list was also in this list, so it's easy to record them. Um, now, I've got this extra bit of information here. Captain J.M.B. Kennedy, he's not in my list. So I'm going to put him in. Uh, we generally try to catch exactly what's on the page, so I'm not going to expand captain. It'll just say capped. All right, Kennedy. Uh, now there's some extra text about him here. 
you could write that here. Um, that would be better than not including it at all. But a better way to deal with this is to use the talk pages, and I will come back to that later. Um, now, if there was anyone else in the list, you could add them underneath. Uh, Jane Doe, John Doe, whatever. Um, just put a new each one on a new line. Makes the list easy for us to process. But in this case, we've just got Captain Kennedy, so I'm going to proceed with just that. Then we deal with the standard minutes at the bottom. These are pretty similar every time, especially the first three. So again, we've given you these buttons for when the minutes match what they usually say. Um, and it's the same kind of rule. So if, if the text is very slightly different, but the meaning hasn't changed, then you can still press the button. So like this plus C here, if somebody had written etc. instead, that would be fine. Um, but if there was some extra information or some different information, then please don't press the button and uh, the next screen will let you handle that. So I'll just run through these. Number one, to read the minutes of the last meeting, read and confirmed, that's what the button says. Number two, to consider new claims to pension, see admission roles, that's what the button says. Number three, to consider claims to increase renewal, etc., form of pension, see invalid, etc. board, that's what the button says. Number four, to consider claims to in pension, see decision noted on claim. That's what the button says. You can see sometimes it's decisions noted on claims. Um, either way, you can press the button. Um, number five, to consider claims to commutation of pension, nil. That's not what this says, so we're not going to press that one. So we go next, and now it asks us, are there any special items? Um, in this case, yes, there are, because five was different. So we say yes. So then we can just fill it in, agenda item number five, title. These don't have titles. Um, on other pages, any page that's not a minutes page, your agenda item is likely to have a title. And so we leave the title blank um, because there isn't one here. Uh, so the text is to consider claims to commutation of pension and because we're trying to get exactly what it says on the page, I do need to put that line break in as well. Um, the resolution is nil. And the subject, we don't bother with a subject for um, agenda items on the attendance page again. So like the title, we just leave that. Okay, and then it asks, is there another agenda item to transcribe on? In this case, no, because the first four we did with the buttons. So we hit no, and these buttons light up here. Um, we can say done if we're happy with it, or we can say done and talk if we want to ask a question about the page or give extra information about the page, or you can put a hashtag in there. Um, so that is where we would put this information here. So we would hit done and talk, that would take us to a talk page, and we can say that it says that Captain Kennedy was representing the Director General of Personal Services. Um, and that's basically it for um, attendance pages. Um, but one of our beta testers did pick up a different type of attendance page, so I just want to quickly show you those as well. So I've brought up the page in question. Um, so you can see it looks like an attendance page at the top, um, but the title is slightly different. Uh, it looks like this is a special meeting rather than one of the regular ones. Um, and down here it's quite different. You've got a great big agenda item instead of the usual set of minutes so it looks kind of like an attendance page and kind of like a meetings pa a minutes page um, but we do want to treat these as attendance pages so we press attendance page uh, we fill in the list as normal um, I'm not going to do it now um, but I would fill in Newton was at the top so I'd do him and then I would and then I would do everyone else um, this we would skip straight past because these are not there and then again we just treat this as a special agenda item and we just transcribe it like we would any other minutes page from here so there's actually no agenda item number um, but we can fill in the title um, i'm not going to fill it all in now we can fill in the text on the left we can fill in the resolution on the right um, and because this isn't a normal attendance page we can pick a subject as well and that's everything i wanted to say thank you for listening <laughs>